So how's it going ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. So I'm Brexer and I create content, anything Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's been a while since I've actually uploaded something in this channel with regards to Master Duels. So here we are. And luckily it has been the new season for Master Duels which is pretty good and we can just grind ourselves back to Diamond or even if I don't want to go back to Diamond because it, Diamond is a hellhole. So from the from the last um, video that I uploaded for the... Um, Punk Tenny deck. I've encountered one specific Punk deck that actually was pretty good. And well, this is one of those cases where I show this deck and you know, do some replays. <laughs> Let's just go to Master Dose and just check the deck out. So here is the deck, guys. So this is a one variant for um, the Punk deck. So the reason why I copied this deck is it's it's very intriguing to use. And it's a variety of um, archetypes that's just jumbled into one. Um, so you have your Rose Dragons, your Yang Zing, your Mega Phantom Beasts, your Psychic Trackers, your Sword Salt Monsters, and your of course your Tenyu Monsters. Um, and yes, this this deck works a lot to be honest. Although there are some changes where I made um, there's some two copies of Vishada, I made three copies, um, one copy of O Lion, j just made it two just in case one is um, banished or whatever. Um, also, I could have used one copy of Muyi if I want, but yeah, I just stayed with this type of deck and just um, taught myself how to combo it. Although it was pretty good. But first and foremost, let's talk about the monsters. So monsters, we have two copies of Chu Wen. This monster wants... Um, so basically, once your Yang Zing monster is destroyed in the field, you can spell summon this monster from your graveyard um, to the field. Then you have your Jet Synchron, which of course um, goes with a lot of place with regards to um, your Huggy Fibrax and Aurora Dawn combo. Then we have your, um, well, your Mecha Phantom Beast, your two copies of Olion. So like I said, uh, there's some cases you can use one copy of Olion and then what? Then bring in one copy of Mu Yi um, just to complete your um, Sword Soul um, lineup. Then you have your three copies of Ash Blossom. So I didn't get any copies of Maxis just because since it's easy to bring out your monsters um, by the use of just you know, your Hockey Firex and your Aurora Dawn combo. Um, next we have your two copies of Tracker. Uh, you can go with Wielder if you want but yeah, Tracker is still useful and it's still okay. Then next we have your Red Rose Dragon. So these cards are... So once this card is used as a Synchro Material, you can spell Summon one Rose Dragon from your deck to your side of the field. And with that, you can summon your Rocks Rose Dragon to your side of the field. So now when this card is normal or spell Summon, you can get a copy of um, either a Rose Dragon or, well, basically a Rose Dragon card from your deck and add that one to your hand. Which your target most of the time is will be your Basal Rose Shoot. Um, yeah, this card can actually spell summon any um, Rose Dragon from your hand or from your graveyard to your side of the field. And then you have your um, Punk Zayamin. So Punk Zayamin, um, you can get you can activate this card to get a copy of your Foxy Tune. And if ever you have your your Foxy Tune on your hand, you can spell summon your uh, Punk Zayamin to your side of the field, which is also a tuner. How's that? Um, next we have your Sword Soul Tia. And then your Sword Soul Long Yun. So basically, just the normal combo piece for a Sword Soul deck. And then here is one tech card that's um, that's that's for that's used for this deck. So the Ascended of Thunder. So, um, Ascended of Thunder just paid three thousand life points. So you can spell summon this card from your hand. Your um your only purpose to, of getting this card um it's just a spell summon to the field and to immediately summon um your baron the floor baron the floor or even any level 10 monsters which is you only have two next up you have your three copies of vishuda and your three copies of ashina then you have your two copies of foxy tune just to search for your ziamin one copy of nibiru the prime being and then your arch nemesis protos so protos is one of those cases where it's pretty good to have this one on the field for your magic and trap, you have your Monster Reborn, um, your Sword Soul Emergence, your two copies of Emergency Teleport since you have four monsters that are psychic. Then you have your one copy of Cold by the Grave, one copy of um, Cross of Designator, one copy of your um, what is it? Basal Rose Shoot, and then your, for your traps, you have your Infinite Impermanence, you have your Sword Soul Blackout, 
and then your nine pillars of the Yang Sing. This card can be searched for your Deng Long. So with that, uh, let's move on to your extra deck. So Deng Long, first and foremost, is needed when you're um, going um, after your Aurora Dawn. And then after this, you can immediately go for uh, level 10 or level 8, depending on what card you'll throw to the graveyard um, to copy its level. Then you'll have your Yazi. So Yazi wants summoned to the field. You can you can pop this card by the use of Aurora Dawn if you want, or you can pop this card by the use of Bar on the Floor. So that's one of those cases. Um, Baxia is one of those situational purposes we're in. You can return those cards to your uh, to the deck if you want. Um, then you have your Boral Load Savage Dragon. Then we have your Jacob Berserker of the Tenyi, your Grandmaster Shi Xiao for um, getting your Sword Soul Monsters, of course. And then your Xiao Feng, um, just for a Floodgate, kind of like Protoss. Um, yeah, Baron the Floor and your Supreme Sovereign. And then you have your Punk Amazing Dragon, just in case you have a level 8 to the field. So it's immediately you can immediately summon that one to your side of the field. And if you have a Punk on your graveyard, that is level 3, you can um, send back any number of um, cards um, on the field. Then you have your two copies of Monk of the Tenyi, one copy of Hockey Fibrex, of course, one copy of Shaman of the Tenyi, and then one copy of your Aurora Dawn. So that is basically the deck for today, guys. And um, let's move on to the replays. So first and foremost, we are not we lost the toin cost and we are going second. So uh, at our hat is pretty good. We have um, psychic tracker, your red rose dragon, your Pangzi Amin, and your Vishida, uh, except for Nibiru. Nah, that's just situational. So I was hoping he'll do anything, but he just set two cards and just passed it one to me. <clears throat> so at this point, we drew into Ashana. We used Vishida to, to spell summon to the field. Normal Summon Red Rose and then Trail Summon Tracker. We move on to Baron the Floor just because I was very complacent about this. I should, <laughs> and you'll know why after, uh, and you'll know why in a while. <laughs> so, um, after Baron the Floor, Red Rose Dragon Trail Summon one Rose Dragon from your from my deck to the field, and with Re Rocks Rose Dragon, I can get a copy of my Magic Card, which is Basal Shoot. So. Uh, at this point on, we move on to our combos. Hockey Firebox summoned, and then summon Jet Synchron. We then move up to one leg up to Aurora Dawn. <clears throat> then we summon our tokens. And then discard one card to spell summon Jet Synchron to the field. Now we got Nibiru, so I was complacent with Baron the Floor. <clears throat> Problem was, he has Cyframe Gear Gamma on his hand. So sucks, we got a wipe on our combo. And this is one of the uh, one of the downsides for this piece if you don't have a Barrel de Floor on the field. So he summoned this piece, we used Basal Shoots, we summoned our Red Rose, used Ashina's Effect, we will summon one level 7 um, Worm. Use Ashina, one copy of another Ashina to send back one card or one back row to the hand, and then we synchro summon to Sheng Ying. <clears throat> so at this point on Sheng Ying, damage or battles with 600 damage to my opponent's attack, uh, life points, and then we end our turn. So at this point, what he'll do, he's well, he used for a lightning storm, which of course I'll use Sheng Ying's effect, uh, and then he scooped. <laughs> So at this point, he must have um, bricked or something. But yeah, we won that game. We are on our next game. Um, we managed to win the Toyn Cost, so we have a good hand. One copy of Vishuda, one copy of Long Yun, one copy of our Basil Shoot, which is of course, it is a Garnet since we don't have any um, Red Rose monster on our hand or on the graveyard. And then one copy of Sword Soul Blackout. So at first, we go with... Um, Vishuda to the field, then then we use our Long Yun. So at this point, I should have used Long Yun first, but nevertheless, I was just checking for any side frame gear gamma. So yeah, and we move on to our uh, burn the floor. 
So at this point on, I can't do anything else, so I just end my turn. Wait, of course, long yon damage 1 200 to my opponent's life points. He then starts off with um, Invoker. So we are going up against an Invoke deck. Um, so basically, I just need to negate Invoke just so that he can't search his um, Invocation. <clears throat> but what he'll do next is kind of surprising. <laughs> yeah. That's basically it. DPE. <laughs> So DPE to the field, all right, and then pop my Baron on the floor and itself, and then set one back row and then pass it on to me. So at this point on, I don't know what to do. I drew on to Jet Synchron. He manages to summon his DPE back to the field. I then link off to Monk of the Tenyi, and then use the effect of Vishuddha to banish, or try to banish DPE. He then chained and destroyed my back row because I don't know why he does that. Maybe it's because I set a back row. That's because. Okay, and then he uses Dogmatica Punishment just to destroy my card. So at this point on, uh, I can since there are a lot of monsters on my graveyard, I can just summon Protos to, the, to my side of the field. Attack for 2500 and end my turn. So at this point on, he can... Oh yeah, I've I've picked dark for this is since dark is the only attribute that uh, that I can choose um, on my turn. So he drew into or he used Dogmatica Ecclesia and then Dogmatica Ecclesia uh, um, get a copy of his um, Fleur de Lis. So um, the best part about this is I don't have any special summon monster from my extra deck, so he can't summon his Fleur de Lis to the field. So yeah, he, this point on, he can't summon his DPE, and then he summoned Ash Blossom. Uh, I don't know why he did that, but he's trying to synchro summon possibly. But yeah, like I said, maybe his his synchro monsters are all dark. So we just end his turn, and at this point on, I can spell summon my um, what you call this? Ascended of the Thunder, and then normal summon my Jet Synchron for a level 8 Synchro Monster. So we used a Maxi, and nevertheless, it's still okay since we are um, winning this game. A summon Berserker of the Tenyi, effect, choose light, uses an effect for Fleur de Lis. I use the effect of Draco Ber uh, Berserker, banish Fleur de Lis. And then my Protos can destroy um, Ecclesia. Damage for 3000 and I go for lethal with 2500 for Protoss. So that's basically it. So that was a Dogmatica Invoke deck. Interesting enough. So here we are on our third game, ladies and gents, and we lost our coin cost again. Um, so we have Red Rose Dragon, one Vishuddha, one Called by the Grave, one Basil Shoot, which is pretty good, and one Sword Soul Emergence. So let's start. Um, we summon. Oh, so he set off three cards in the back row and then passed his turn. So at this, I will draw into Ashina. So Ashina, I spell summon to the field. Normal summon my red rose. Synchro summon to bear on the floor. And then, since red rose is used as a synchro material, I spell summon Rock's Rose. Rock's Rose, you get a copy of another red rose to my hand. Use uh, Red Rose, Swell summon my Red Rose from the graveyard, and we do the combo. So that, get my Jet Synchron to the field, Jet Synchron, link off to Aurodon. Then summon the tokens. And I think we I discarded Red Rose, was it? Yeah, Red Rose. And then we summon our Mecha Phantom Beast. So this is the first time we actually made the combo. Uh, so we summon Deng Long. Get a copy of uh, any Yang Xing card from my deck. Yeah, we summon the token for O Lion. Alright, so copy of our trap card. Now we banish or we send to the graveyard um, Vishuda. Vishuda used to send one back row to the hand. And we move on to Synchro Summoning. 
Cheng Ying. Effect, um, effect of Deng Long, we'll summon one Yang Zing monster and we move to level 7, Yazi. And then Barrel on the floor can pop Yazi, we'll summon one. Oh yeah, so like I said, yeah. So Chai Wen, Chai Wen can be Shrill Summon once a Yang Zing monster is destroyed on the field. So Yazi, we will summon one um, worm monster. So Tia, we will summon to the field. Spirit summon a token by banishing one worm monster. Get Boral Load to the field. And then it, uh, chain it with Tia, sending one um, Ashuna to the graveyard and then using Arodon as an equip card. Then at this point on, I was thinking, let's not um, overextend our cards. So we just set one Pillar of the Yang Zing because we have a Yang Zing monster on the field. And then we'll, use, we'll just use um, Sword Soul Long Yon um, later on if, if it's it's gonna be bad for us so he used ring of destruction I then chain with Borload. <clears throat> so I continue the attack and he used dimensional wall which I just use I just let him be he used Mahana so at this point he was trying to go for um game but I just use my bar, my, my bar on the floor. So if you don't know Mahana, uh, Mahama, the fairy dragon, this card can either choose gain life points or inflict damage or a point equal to the battle damage. So that would have been game if ever I, I made it happen. So yeah. So let's move on. Negate with bar on the floor. Mama destroyed, and then we attack for 3300 and then 3k 100. So, at this, um, on his next turn, he just set two cards, and then yeah, that's it. So, we drew into Red Rose Dragon, effect of Baron the Floor, destroy one back row. I don't know why that, um, it can't be destroyed. But nevertheless, um, he used. So I was trying to go for battle and end the end the game. He used magic cylinder. I then used this one, nine pillars of the Yang Zing. Since we have a Yang Zing monster, we can negate this card, and then we have game. So that is that. So fourth game, ladies and gents, uh, we have your um, Shin Wen, Shai Wen, Shai Wen, Shai Wen. Red Rose Dragon, two Ashunas, and one Protos. So we still summon our Ashuna to the field, and then normal summon our Red Rose, which we we got um, Dimension and a Shifter. This is bad, so I just stopped right here and prayed for the best, since my cards are sent <laughs> or are actually banished. He then uses his um, his Orochi to still summon at my end phase, and, and then I think he'll. Yeah, he'll use this card. It's pretty much, it's pretty good. Just pop two cards on the field, um, one on his side and one on my side. I then use the effect of Baron the Floor, leaving me, um, well, leaving me open to um, Orochi. So that he will attack for 2450. Uh, two I took that one and then he end his turn. So at this point, I have good cards. I will summon the Shuna to the field, and then he used Maxi. Use the effect of Zamin to get my copy of Foxy Chun, and then Synchro summon to um I think Sheng Ying. Yes, Sheng Ying. I summon Sheng Ying. Since I have a lot of cards that are spell summon, I use the effect of Foxy Chun to get a copy of uh, Amin, but I got negated by Ash Blossom. So I attack for four five hundred. He I dealt three five fifty, and my turn. So at this point on, this is a good stand standpoint on my side. He just end his turn. Maybe he got he brick. I don't know. So I summon Rocks Rose to get a copy of my basal shoot, and I still summon my Protoss, of course. So yeah, um, if you didn't see there. So since Protoss banishes um, 
three attribute monsters from either field or graveyard. And then with the effect of Sheng Ying, I can banish um, one card in the field or in the graveyard. So that's that. And I go for game. So this is the last game, guys. And yes, uh, we lost a Toyn cost, but we got a good hand. Red Rose Dragon, one Long Young, one um, Protoss, one Eteli, and one Sword Soul Blackout. So let's start. He's gonna start off with summoning. Oh, we're going up against Prank Kids. I forgot about, about this deck. So he's just doing the same old combos for Prank Kids. Summon uh, Meow Meow Moo. Banish one card. Summon um, Dropsies. Link off to Doo Doo Doo. Yeah, that, that one. I don't know how to spell that one. Then Dropsies will summon one Roxy. Set one card and end his turn. So at this point on, I have a good card, which we got Tracker also. We summon Long Yun, uh, send it to the graveyard, blow and black out. For Baron the floor. Right. And we go for Long Yun, damage for 1 200. Use E Telly. We got uh, Ash Blossom. And I think we used Baron the floor for this one, or no? I didn't, I didn't think we used this one. Yeah, we didn't use it. So, uh, we use uh, Red Rose and then Summon Tracker since there's a level 3 monster on the field. We go for combo for our Hockey Fibrax. Jet, get Jet Synchron from the field, uh, from the deck. And move up to Aurorodon. Aurorodon, so will summon some tokens. Now, at this point, I don't want to lose Protoss on my hands, so we just use the tokens and uh, Aurorodon. He then used. Called by the grave, so at this point I need to to negate that one. So we got Baron the floor to do that for us, and we still summon our um o lion. O lion will move up to Denglong, and then you know the rest. Get a copy of our Yang Zing card, chain off with o lion to still summon a token to the field. And I think we sent to the graveyard um, Vishuda. Vishuda, yeah. Banish Vishuda, send back to the hand, and I think that's it. He just scooped. So the deck is mostly um, composed of combos. And yeah, it's pretty good. So um, I think that's it for today, guys. And if you like the content, uh, please feel free to subscribe. And yes, thank you for watching. Keep safe, good luck, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.